Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to start off by showing where I was last week. We took my son, who just turned 21, <laughs> and our oldest son and his wife to Vegas. And we had such a great time. My sister-in-law met up with us there, and we just celebrated my youngest turning 21, and my oldest birthday which I won't disclose his age but he's had a recent birthday as well and when he turned 21 we weren't able to take him to Vegas so this was kind of like a twofer we had a great time and we were able to see our son and his wife who live in Michigan so that was amazing and here's some photos of our trip here's the gang <laughs> and oh my gosh it was so just so amazing so while I was on my trip there's candy stores all over Vegas but it gave me inspiration of course I'm thinking how to decorate my home while I'm on vacation <laughs> so this is what this video is about we're gonna make a candy bar so welcome to Kelly's creations I hope you enjoy this this is just a quick fun video of what you can do to maybe update a buffet or some shelves in your kitchen for spring. So first I just cleared everything off. <laughs> All my little knickknacks and decorations. This is a shelf I put together for our kitchen and then I went to Family Dollar and I bought these canisters which is I you can get similar canisters at Dollar Tree and spend a lot less, okay? But these canisters will come in handy if I want to eventually switch up this bar. Um, I can always use these for my craft room. I can use them in the laundry room. I can use them in the kitchen. They won't go to waste. The small canisters were $2.50. The larger ones were $3. And then I just grabbed a bunch of candy and just had fun fill in my jars. Now I did wash my jars out, but I was careful to leave the bottom sticker still on them because I'm actually using that bottom sticker, which I don't know why I didn't film this, but I put the date on the bottom. That way I knew exactly what date I filled these jars. And I just thought it would be good to utilize the manufacturer's sticker and just write the date on it. So I knew, you know, how long the candy's been in the jars in case it doesn't get eaten. Now, my husband and my son <laughs> have the biggest sweet tooth, so I don't see this candy staying in these jars for long, but just in case. Um, so I was real careful to not ruin the bottom sticker. Now, candy's a little expensive, a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. So if you want the aesthetic look without paying the high dollar price, you can always put a little um, cup in the middle of your canister, kind of fills in the bulk, and then put the candy around it. Nobody will ever know that it's not a full jar of candy, and the cup is taking up a lot of space in the canister. <laughs> when I had this crazy idea, I didn't realize that, yeah, it was going to be a little pricey to fill up these jars, but the, after the initial expense, all you have to do once in a while is just go grab some more candy, you know, maybe a bag or two, not 20 bags here and there to fill them up. I just think this is fun. Look at the colors with spring coming. Oh, I just think it brightens up my kitchen. You can decorate this for different seasons it'll be fun to put halloween candy christmas candy in these like endless possibilities and like i said once i'm done wanting a candy jar display in my kitchen those canisters can be utilized for a lot of other things so no money lost so now i'm just having fun filling up my jars and this is the only time in history my son and husband stuck around with me while I did a video. You will see in this video little hands kind of creeping in, asking for a Hershey's kiss or a cookie. And I think right now you're about to see my husband. Neither one of them are ever around while I'm filming, but boy, you buy cookies and candy and they are right there helping you out. <laughs> so I was trying to arrange these cookies 
to make them aesthetically pleasing in the jar but since my jar is square not round it wasn't really working out the way I had intended and you know what they're just gonna get opened and grabbed and eaten anyway so really uh, there's my husband um I'm getting over a little cold um my allergies are kicked in so if I sound kind of funny <laughs> that's why <laughs> I've been like battling like allergies for the last couple days and yeah um that kind of hindered this video as well because I wanted to make like a candy sign or a candy bar or something along the lines of that to put with this display and I just haven't been feeling up to it I'm just like it's all I can do right now just to do this part of the video I'm so so sorry I really had high intentions for not just showing you the display but how you can decorate it as well and maybe I'll do a part two to this when I'm feeling better but right now I just thought it would be fun to show you um, exactly what it looks like when this is done because it is so cute my house is decorated country farmhouse sometimes rustic country and this is actually a dvd holder put on a buffet that i just put the two pieces together and it's in my kitchen and i just am absolutely in love with this candy bar display oh my gosh um it's so colorful it screams spring and i there's i could actually add more canisters like i said dollar tree i have two dollar tree canisters up in my craft room that have the metal tops to them so this could be a lot cheaper if you go there and only spend a dollar on the canisters now these decorative canisters actually came from amazon and they're not as crystal clear as the other ones but i thought that putting different styles um with this you know mixing it up just added a layer to it and um i don't know which ones do you like better do you like the old like vintage looking canisters i got from amazon or do you like the more modern with the metal lids i like the two together I had planned on going to Dollar Tree and getting a couple of their cookie jars. They have these plastic cookie jars. Um, and I just, with me being under the weather and not feeling very good this week, I just didn't make it. But I did put my Easter garland up on it because it's colorful and screams spring. I added a little um, pink candle you could actually get little scoops for inside of these that would make it so much fun like like i said you can just like roll with this and go with it in any direction you want but i just wanted to hop on and tell you guys about my trips show you some pictures and show you the inspiration that i got from visiting a candy store in vegas so here's just different views of how it looks in my kitchen i'm loving it i think it's fun and actually some people might think oh my gosh you have two people in your house with sweet tooths this candy isn't gonna last long it actually they will come and just grab a handful instead of sitting down with a whole bag and polishing it off they're actually just they're yeah it's actually working out where they're not eating as much believe it or not here's some nighttime photos of our vegas trip we had a blast and i'll let you guys enjoy those i will be doing a collaboration next week with my two good friends and we're going to be doing easter tear trays so don't forget to stop by next week and check out that video i love y'all i hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see you guys next week bye y'all